Hello guys, let's start with the exercise 1.1 of NCRT class 9th. So let's say the first problem, 0 is a rational number, can you write it in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integer. Well, Q which is not equal to 0. So yes, it's a rational number, 0 is a rational number, why it is a rational number? Let's see why I just give you the example, why it is a rational number. Because this can be written in the form of any like uh, 0 by any value like 2 right so right if any term can be written in the term of p by q so obviously that they have given that q must not be equal to 0 since q is not equal to 0 so it may be any value like 0 and uh, this q may be any value like 5 so obviously this can be written as so yeah we can write this hence and one thing is there 0 is a rational number or not so guys 0 is a rational number right because irrational number is the number which are non-terminating and uh, uh, non-repeating values like having different different values we'll come to know about the assigned rational number in the next problem but for till then just get an idea that uh, mm, rational number is the number which will have the exact value like 1.52 if we'll divide some value like 10 divided by 5 so we'll get 2 this is the rational value if let divide by like 15 by something like uh, just give you some more example 8 is there by 2 so we'll get 4 right and this 10 by 4 so we'll get 2.5 so this is the rational number because it is giving me the exact value right if let divide 10 by 3 so we'll get 3.333 so i can write this as a 3.3 so again it's a rational number why it is a rational number because it's a repeating value okay 3 is repeating all the time but in case if we talk about the pi of 22 by 7 so this will suppose to give you 3.1423 so on it will give you the value hence whenever it is a large number of values are given and which are non-repeating this comes under a rational number but if you're talking about the zero guys so zero is a rational number okay fine so two things you have to remember for rational a rational may be like 1 2 1 1.5 1.55 which can be written as 1.5 bar okay bar and for irrational for irrational it will be like like for irrational it will be like uh, mm, like 1 3 7 8 it dot 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 you must have the different different values okay Let's talk about the next problem. Find the six rational number between three and four. Guys, whenever you need to find the rational number between these two, so just do one thing very easy. I'll just suggest you three divided by the number of term, number of term by n plus one. Just do it by n plus one. So what I'm trying to spend three, just give this three as it is. So how many terms we are looking for? We are looking for six rational number here. Six rational number. So for six rational number, I'll just write six plus one divide and multiply six plus one so we'll get three by seven into into seven so basically they will get as a 21 by seven as a one of our answer for the fourth part let's see for four so again i'll just do it here four into what i need to do just i need to just multiply and divide by seven so i get it by 28 by seven so now what uh so uh, for three i had 21 by 7 and for four i have 28 by 7. so between the term that will give the six value like the first value is 22 by 7 and then the next value is 23 by 7 then next is 24 by 7 then next is 25 by 7 then next is 26 by 7 Right, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 by 7 and one last 27 by 7. So this how we will get the 6 values. I hope that is clear to you. No problem. Right. So this is how you can find the solution for the third, uh, uh, second question. Let's come to the question number third now. Let's see 5 rational number. The third problem we will solve here. Like here it is the value like 3. 3 by 5 is there right and let's say somewhere here 
4 by 5 so how many terms we are looking for 5 rational number so I just told you if it is 5 rational numbers divide it and multiply by 6 and plus 1 so you will get this as a 6 is a 18 by 30 okay and if you multiply here 6 by 6 since 5 rational numbers is the n plus 1 just multiply you will get 24 by 30 so there we will get the value like 19 by 30 is the first one start from the first one first then 20 by 30 21 by 30 22 by 30 23 by 30 24 by 30 20 okay 23 by 4 30 so we are looking for the 5 only now so 24 by 30 is our boundary 19 by 30 is our boundary right uh, so 18 by 30 is our boundary so 19 by 30 to 23 by 30 this will give you the 5 value Five value which will be the between the 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 I hope that is clear to you I hope there is no doubt let's see come to the question number 4 state whether the following statements are true or false give reason for your answer so every natural number is a whole number right so natural number start from if we talk about the natural number natural number start from 1 2 3 so on and if you talk about the whole number whole number start from 0 1 2 so on so guys obviously the whole number is greater as compared to the natural number in terms of counting the value because it start from 0 hence yeah every natural number comes under the whole number hence the first option will be true right every integer is a whole number let's see if you talk about the every integer guys an integer may be minus maybe plus right so we can't say it is a whole number because the whole number start from zero and so on but it does not cover the negative value hence this statement is false right every rational number is a whole number guys if you talk about the rational number is a whole number so will 1.5 which is a fraction part or decimal part which is a rational number as i told you what is rational number but the whole number is nothing but the integer only like 0 1 2 3 hence the third will be also the false option it's not the correct option okay i hope that is clear to you if you like the video please like this or subscribe for the other video thank you for watching